Hi Gemini, this is your reading with me for September 2021 for love. I hope you are doing well. All right, we're going to have a look and see what is coming through with the cards and see what messages, information, clarity I can give to you for your readings and see what is happening. So let's shuffle these oracle cards and see what's happening. By the way, I did want to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, that's also down below as well. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me as I offer same day personal readings. And then also on my website, there are the intention manifesting items, which are handmade and all of that is down below. The review section, of course, is on my website as well, as so many people have seen results. But uh, there's bracelets, anklets, necklaces, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, wallet, or your purse. There's also crystals and sage. And yeah, they're really special items. And therefore, you know, different areas of your life, be it love, career, uh, reconciliation, twin flame, soulmate, protection, healing, etc. So definitely check those out if you're interested. Okay, so Gemini. Let's have a look and see what the Oracle cards bring you today. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh. Okay. So, first card is curious about you. So someone is clearly crushing on you, someone is very curious about you, and uh, they are really thinking about you as well. We see those hugs and kisses um, at the top, you know. Um, it's very interesting because clearly someone is really thinking about you a lot. Um, we also have here pause and reflect. So in September, you might be sort of thinking, there we go, um, sort of thinking about what it is that you want to achieve and the things that you want to do. So we definitely see that energy there as well. We also have here as well minor setbacks, so keep in mind that in September we do have a Mercury retrograde. Now, it's minor, okay, it is not a major setback, which means that actually, do you know what, Mercury retrograde is quite fascinating because I feel like there could be people that sort of come around, which is interesting, and they may come and apologise. There's definitely an energy here, um, which is, I know we have here talk more, I just feel like you're going to be talking to a lot of people, you're going to have a lot of communication, you may find that people suddenly want to talk to you who you may not even have talked to for a long time, so this could be in general with like friendships and family members as well. Do keep that in mind, um, just something to note, um, but it's quite fascinating, isn't it? Um, yeah, like someone is watching you and they're watching like a hawk, okay? They are so curious about you and they clearly want to talk to you. And yeah, around Mercury Retrograde, you may find that, okay, like this person seemed really keen and interested, but they're not so interested anymore. And for some of you, it's around Mercury Retrograde that they start to be more active. So basically, what I see here is that because it's a general reading, obviously it's going to resonate with you in different ways. Like no two people may have the same outcome. I know that sounds a bit strange, but what I mean to say is that Either pretty much the whole of September until Mercury retrograde is going to be quite quiet and you'll be like, nah, it's not really much happening. And then boom, they sort of pounce on, on the energy um, around about the 27th, which is Mercury retrograde. Or what you'll find is that September is very lively and they're curious about you. And then as soon as Mercury retrograde happens, there's a bit of a setback. So this setback is very, very minor. Okay. And it's going to be different for some of you. It could happen whilst Mercury is either in retrograde or when it is not in retrograde in September. I just wanted to mention that. But regardless, someone is very very much so towards you and despite this setback they can still want to talk to you and things like that but yeah I just feel like you know sometimes people go back into their shell during like a retrograde and some people really come out of their shell during a retrograde it really depends on your birth chart it depends on the placement of your stars and your planets it's it's a whole astrological thing as well so just keep that in mind but look there's someone that really is interested in you there is someone that's watching you there is someone that is well, look, I not in a creepy way, okay, so just wanted to mention that. This is someone that you would romantically feel something towards as well, okay? I'm not talking about, like, someone that, you know, would put you at risk if they're, like, watching you, you know, that, that, that sounds scary. Um, yeah, okay, so remember, and if that is the case and someone's watching you and you're like, oh my god, make sure you call the authorities, okay? Very important. Okay, so we also have pause and reflect. So this gives you time to kind of, you know, gather your thoughts, gather yourself to understand what you want, um, especially with this sort of minor little setback that you may have where there may be a period of time when not a lot is happening. But yeah, there's definitely someone who's interested. Give them some space and time. Basically, that's pause and reflect as well. 
let's have a look what tarot is telling us ace of swords I'm going to drop those because it just it just came out okay <laughs> ace of swords is communication all right they clearly want to talk six of wands is them coming towards you so you don't have to do so much um two of wands shows you have options so don't ever feel like this is the only person out there for you on the planet um or in the world like you do have options you do have choices um good thing to sort of keep in mind you have the nine of cups so it's a great scenario where essentially you don't have to like make everything happen you know what i mean like the nine of cups is a great scenario to be in where you have interest towards you 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 are also feeling interested yourself and you're just letting things naturally progress and naturally happen. Um, you know, minor set setback can also mean that this person comes towards you, but then they go a little bit quiet as they're trying to, you know, focus on other things that they've got going on in their life as well. So try not to get too worried. I don't feel like it's a worrying thing because remember it's minor, not major. Okay. And then we've also got the star here as well. The star really is quite interesting because it shows the stars aligning. It shows things coming together. It shows a lot of progression. Um, and it also shows again, there is a sense of uh, healing and feeling much better. Interesting, actually, you've got the High Priestess as well. This is about trusting your gut and your intuition, and uh, you'll feel pretty aligned with yourself. You'll feel like, okay, like things really are moving in the right direction. Things are coming together um, also in the right direction, and it's also progressing as well, again, in the right direction. So you'll feel very, very happy um, as well. And I think that that's something that will for sure just make you feel quite, um, yeah, quite satisfied and fulfilled as well as that you, you get this communication that you're sort of hoping for and wanting, but also feeling very, very good about. So that again is a very good thing. We've got the King of Swords. So again, that strong Gemini energy as well, right? So I think one thing that I see here is that people really admire your truth and your honesty and just how kind and caring you are. You have a backbone, you have a spine. I mean, technically everyone has a spine, but the thing here um, is, is really the fact Fact that you are spiritually um, a strong person and that is something that they really do like. Three of Cups shows they absolutely do want to communicate with you, right? It's a very social energy. They really they really want to talk to you more, they want to get to know you more, and uh, the full here shows a fresh start, you know, so this person has been thinking about moving things further along with you to create a fresh start. Um, for many of you, this is a new person that sort of comes in and wants to talk, you know, talk with you and talk to you. For some of you, it could be, it, it could be, okay, it could be someone um, from before who wants to create a fresh start but the thing is if you really don't care about any of your exes it's not going to be this person because this is someone who you will actually feel good about as well so if you absolutely cannot stand your ex it's not going to be your ex it's simple as that <laughs> but for some of you who you know are really kind of wanting your ex or wanting someone new like it's it's going to be that you know so just keep in mind your preferences because that's actually what it's going to align to because obviously you're not going to feel good about someone from the past coming back if you don't want anyone from your past but for a lot of you there's someone curious um, and for a lot of you it's a new person as well okay so let me continue to shuffle the cards oh queen of swords we've got king and queen of swords very interesting. You've got counterparts. So yeah, they, they really do care about you. They do really like you. Yeah, you know, things can go a little bit quiet somewhere in September between the two of you, but it's not the end of the world. Remember, it's not the end of the world. Still more can progress here. More can come together. So it's really, it's really not the end of the world. It's okay. See, we see again, so much communication between the two of you. Back and forth, back and forth. You know, um, talk more just means that they don't want to stop talking to you. All right. Oh, I got so many cards. Let's take that top card. So the top card actually is the two of cups. Wow, what a way to end the reading. Two of cups. This deck actually has, I think, two of those cards. I don't know why. That's just how they made the deck. It, it just is what it is, you know. Um, yeah. So the two of cups here is a quite a strong energy which is about them wanting to connect to you, you know connect to you wanting to be around you wanting to progress with you um, which is obviously super significant so obviously they there's there's a person here for a lot of you it's a new person um, who is clearly like watching you like wants to communicate with you talk to you more and more get to know you more you're like they're, they're feeling so curious about you so Gemini that is your reading of course I hope this helped you and if it resonated with you let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check out the description box below for information on private paid readings reading giveaway and of course intention items which are on my website I also have a TikTok and Instagram 
Instagram if anyone wants to follow me on there for short readings. Feel free to do so, the links are down below. Take care everyone.